Well, in just under 35 minutes, Russ Abbott knocks some sense out of Saturday, following Every Second Counts. <laughs> second chance. Now this is the show where time wins the prizes and as Benjamin Franklin once very seriously said do not squander time. I'm not going to and I'm sure our contestants won't either so let's meet the first couple. And our first every second chance couple tonight call are Caroline and Joe McLaughlin from Canny Hill in Scotland. Hello nice to meet you. Hello, Caroline. Hi, Joe. Caroline, tell me all about Joe. This is my husband, Joe. Yep. Known to some as Wee Joe. Wee Joe. Aye. I cannot pick on him myself. I'm the same height the new. <laughs> what does he do for a living? He works for an insurance company as a commercial underwriter. A commercial underwriter? Really? Oh, there you go then. Yeah. And uh, how long have you known him? For about three years. Three years. Long time. Where did he propose? It's embarrassing. <laughs> What's embarrassing about proposing? It's nice. It's romantic. Where did he propose? In a bedroom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whose bedroom? <laughs> Your bedroom. <laughs> hey, that's the way to trap him. <laughs> Great, that really is. I beg your pardon? Mine was being decorated at the time. <laughs> this was being decorated at the time. He's not English, is he? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great accent, that's a great Isn't accent. I, I, has he ever worn the wee kilt? Yes, on the day we got married. On the day you got married? That must have been confusing for the vicar. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not Scottish, though, are you? No, I'm not. No, no, no. So you tell me about the lady now. Well, this is my wife, Caroline. She's uh, also works for an insurance company. Same company? No, a different company. Different company? Yeah. Can't mention the name, can I? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you didn't mention yours. Why didn't you mention it? You sell each other policies then to get the commission up a bit and all that. You know? no, no, not quite. You don't? Oh. Not yet. I haven't thought of that one. Not yet. Okay. Any hobbies or anything? What you do? Uh, well, she makes me do the washing up. That's a hobby? <laughs> <laughs> She, she makes you do the washing. Well, she lets me do the washing. She lets you. Well, it serves you right for wearing that skirt on the wedding. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it's obvious who wears the trousers in your house. Who's going to play first, then? I am. You are Papa. still in charge, you see. <laughs> still in charge. OK, you sit behind, take your seats, and we'll meet the next couple. And our next every second time couple tonight call are Lindsay and Terry Snow from Southampton in Hampshire. <laughs> Hello there. It's a lonely wait at the top while we find out who you are, isn't it, Lindsay? It is. It is, it is, it is. Tell me all about him. This is Terry, my husband. He's an assistant manager for his father's coal business. A coal business? Mm -hmm. His second name's Snow, isn't it? Very true. There you go. You've got him in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually deliver? And Occasionally, come? yes. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Really? OK, how long have you been married? For six years. For six years. Yes. That's nice. How did you get together, then? Well, it all started over a fridge. Pardon? A fridge. <laughs> so can, you, can you mind rephrasing that? When you say it, it all started over well, yeah, a fridge. No. <laughs> it's a bit difficult. It's yeah, a bit difficult. But we managed. So what happened then? Well, what happened, uh, one of the ladies that I worked with um, had a fridge to sell because she was getting a, a big fridge freezer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said to Terry, can we buy this fridge? This is before, you know, we were engaged or anything. So he said, well, you know, if we're going to buy a fridge, we might as well get engaged. So, you know, it's sort of... <laughs> So that's the way to do it, girls. Get him to buy a fridge. Yeah, you know. Most people, you know, have the ice on the ring on the finger, you know? Yeah. You did it wrong, kid. You did it wrong. Tell me all about Lindsay. This is Lindsay. I'll call her rat bag. <laughs> you smack, Lindsay, that. What do you call her when you're not, you know, having a row then, if you call her that when Whoa. you're nice? Whoa. 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 Tell me some more about the lady. Well, she plays badminton and uh, goes to keep fit. Uh, a keep anything. fit type person, are you? Yeah, if yeah. anything, I'm always on the go. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sporting match. Uh, yes, yeah, sporting type, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think I'd best let you sit down, Lindsay. You've been over the fridge so far, and now you're keeping fit with anything. Yes, OK, I've made my notes. All right, I've made my notes. Who's going to play first? Me. You are. OK, you take the front seat. You sit behind. We'll meet the next couple. <laughs> Tonight's final every second dance couple call are Karen and Will Taylor from West Bridgeford near Nottingham. Are they all your family? There's a big <laughs> cheer as you came down there. Thank You're very you. colourful tonight, my sweet. Thank you. Okay, Karen, tell me all about Will. Well, this is my husband, Will. I'm and... sure he will. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that when he was coming down. I wish I hadn't. Right. <laughs> um, after two weeks of knowing each other, I proposed to him, and we were married seven months later. You don't mess about, do you? <laughs> Why, is he rich? Has he got a good job? Not anymore, no. You <laughs> <laughs> were then. Sad, isn't it, Will? No, I no, never will be, I tell you. Yeah. What does he do for a living? He's a foreman motor mechanic. A foreman motor mechanic? A Doesn't foreman. actually mend them, then? Oh, well, yeah. he tells me he does, but... Yeah? Yeah? I, do you mend all makes of cars, do you? Uh, majority, yeah. Yeah. I've got one of them that talks, you know, one of them cars. Doesn't go in for a service normally, it goes to an elocution teacher. <laughs> 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 Any ambitions? Uh, well, yes. Her, he plays cricket for the Inland Revenue, and he wants to... <laughs> he wants to score his first... They all come on here. <laughs> <laughs> they do, they all come. I can't believe it. You play cricket with the Inland Revenue? Yeah. Yeah. And he Terrible. wants to score his first century. That's his ambition. Look at scoring a century for them. They're not 60% Australian. <laughs> 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 Tell me about Karen. This is my wife, Karen. Uh, she's a computer operator. Yeah. Any hobbies to yeah. do with that at all? Not the computers, no. Mm. She's really into collecting trivia and nonsense and rubbish. I can see and that. Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to play first then? I am. You. you are. Okay, you take the front seat. You sit behind and we'll look at the prizes. They could be winning on every second counts. Well, Paul, tonight's couples could win this super exercise bike and rowing machine. A sound sensation with this compact disc player, plus five discs of your choice. A mini cruise on the Queen of the Seas, the QE2. And tonight's star prize, a magnificent 22-inch colour TV with teletext and the latest VHS video recorder, plus a selection of feature films and BBC videos of your choice. I wonder which couple will be taking that road down the prize list. We will find out at the end of Every Second Counts. Lindsay, Carolyn and Will in the front seats. Two seconds for correct answers. Later on, a chance to win some extra time. Robin Hood is the first subject. And, well, not him himself, because I've just told you the answer, if that's the subject. Of the following list of names, which ones were members of Robin Hood's Band of Merry Men? Answer, yes, sire. Or nay, sire. It's time I had a bit of respect around here. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, yes, sire, or nay, sire, was this one of Robin Hood's band of merry men, John O'Groats? No, sire. Proper bit of respect there. Carolyn, Will of the Wisp? Nay, sire. Nay, sire. Will? Will Scarlet? Yes, sire. Yes. Yeah. You would have been scarlet if you'd got that wrong, wouldn't you? Yeah, okay, Will. Lindsay, Wensley Dale. Nay, sire. Ah, used to be. Got cheesed off and left. <laughs> Some of these you can blame me for. <laughs> Carolyn, Alan Dale. Yes, sire. Yeah, okay. You know what he did in the troop? Played the liar. And when they all became legitimate, he became a politician. <laughs> Will. Lincoln Green. Nay, sire. Quite right. Lindsay, much the miller's son. Nay, sire. Frozen out of the round, Lindsay, for an incorrect answer. Yes, he was, okay? Much the miller's son. A name that's gone nowadays. Maid Marion. Yes, sire. Oh, frozen out. Remember right at the beginning, I said, which were members of Robin Hood's band of merry men, okay? <laughs> she might have made a few men merry, but... Uh, <laughs> can't accept the answer, leaving Will. But sadly, it's only one, so you can't gain too much. Nigel of Lawson. 
Nay, sire. Nay, sire. He robs the poor to feed the rich. <laughs> so, you're in the lead with six seconds at the end of the round. We've got uh, Lindsay on four and Carolyn on four, so I'll move along to Carolyn this time, give you a chance to start a round. Acts of Parliament. Great, eh? Yeah. I love to look across and see the faces when I read out the titles. Which of these Acts of Parliament became law in 1985? And which have we made up? To those that are true, answer, hear, hear. <laughs> and to those that are false, answer, shame, shame. You know, we want to get a real house broadcast going here, okay? Well, Carolyn, the Housing Defects Act. Here, here. Yes, you bought it for the right thing. The Cinemas Act. Here, here. Ooh, you nearly ran out of time there, I'll tell you. The Circus Act. Nay, nay. What was <laughs> It was nay, sire, but that's the last set of questions, Lindsay. We've got another round now. Shame, is it? Shame. I can remember. I can remember. Where was I? All right. The Intoxicating Substances Supply Act. Here, here. Yes, this woman knows her booze. <laughs> The House of Commons Bar All Night Opening Act. Shame. Yeah. The Hanky Panky Secretarial Provisions Act. Shame. Yeah, it is a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Most secretaries deserve that act, I'll tell you. <laughs> Carolyn, the Double Act. Shame. Will, the Dangerous Vessels Act. Here, here. Good answer. Lindsay, the Members of Parliament Unlimited Wealth Act. Shame. Ah, I looked to a judge. You answered on the buzzer. And he's giving you a thumbs up, so you did all right there. You picked him at the post and moved you to joint on 10 with Carolyn, but we'll still in the lead with 12 seconds. little piece of music which tells me it is time to give you an extra chance to win some extra time. Now what we've done is of course we've moved from Lindsay to Carolyn but I'm going to go back to Lindsay okay because Will you're in the lead and we always leave you with whatever's left. Yeah, thank you. That's the way the game's played. <laughs> Lindsay and Terry you can confer here and tell me which of these subjects you'd like. Sport, the past or places. While you're conferring, I'll just tell the people at home that a clock will start on the question. Ten seconds of time will go, and depends how quick they answer, how quick they stop the clock. Sport, please. Sport. Yep. Okay, you got it. Sport. With which sport do you associate Jonah Barrington? Swimming. Um, squash. Yeah, you did it. Nine seconds as well. Thank you. Carolyn and Joe. Carolyn and Joe can confer on places or the past. The past, please. The past. Okay. You keen on history and stuff? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Or yes, no. Yeah. One yes, one no. Right. Which king burnt the cakes? Alfred. Hi. <laughs> I had to eat them. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Serves you right for being married to him in that skirt. Right. <laughs> Will and Karen, you've been left with places, okay? So here you go, here's your question. In 1982, Prince Edward worked as a junior school tutor in which country? Uh, England, Australia. Ireland, Australia, South New Africa. Zealand. Yep, New Zealand stopped the clock on With Will and Karen on 19, Lindsay and Terry on 19, Carolyn and Joe just in the lead with 20 seconds. Very good. <laughs> now I'm going to move right along to Will and Will because you've never had the chance to start a round. This is your chance because you're on joint 19 with Lindsay. Real ales. Okay? The two women go, hmm. Will says, oh, I'd love one. Right, here we go. 
It's very fashionable these days to drink real ale, but they do have some odd names. Yeah? Which of the following are real ales and which are not? Now, you just answer true or false. Not nay, sire. <laughs> nay, nay. Okay, Will, it's your turn. Old Peculiar. True. Yeah, made in Carlisle and Ripon. <coughs> Must be a long barrel. <laughs> Lindsay. Tebbit's Tongue. False. Good answer. Old Lincolnshire Gut Rot. <laughs> False. False. Good decision. Draft Excluder. <laughs> False. <laughs> True. Oh you have in the window up, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> they made it in East London, and it's a real air. We told you they had funny names. We did warn you. Lindsay, your turn. Headbanger. True. <laughs> yes, it is. And it's made in Swindon. Carolyn. Knicker warmer. <laughs> False. Good answer. Lindsay. Knee trembler. True. <laughs> She's led a sheltered life as that girl, a very sheltered life. Carolyn, you're in total charge of the round. You're already ahead. You could go another four seconds on if you get both of these right. Bishop's Tipple. True. Yes, Ooh, you knew, you knew that did. one. Huh? <laughs> in Salisbury. Old Chundera. False. Good answer. Putting you in the lead with 28 seconds, but let's give them all a round of applause as they change seats. Applause to welcome three new drivers. Terry, Joe and Karen are in the driving seats. We welcome you. I'll tell you the scores. Karen, you're on 21. Terry, you're on 23. Joe, you're on 28. Okay? That's the order, so we'll start with Karen. And the category is movies. Four seconds for every correct answer. From the following list of films and their stars, I want you to tell me if we've matched them up correctly. Just answer true or false. You'll understand it, I promise, when I read the first one out. Is this true or false? Lionel Blair starred in Daddy Longlegs. False. That was Fred Astaire, apparently, in 1955. Long time before I was born. Hey, <laughs> Terry, your turn. Michael Caine in The Caine Mutiny. False. Good answer. Humphrey Bogart was in that. Joe. Zeppo Marx in Duck Soup. True. Aye. Glenn Miller in The Glenn Miller Story. True. Nope, it was James Stewart took the part. Terry, Tommy Steele in The Tommy Steele Story. True. Yes, it was. Joe, John Inman in Born Free. <laughs> False. Right, false. It was Bill Travers and Virginia McKenna. Terry, Clark Gable in Teacher's Pet. False. It was true. <laughs> Joe, you're in charge of the round and you're in the lead already. Mandy Miller in Mandy. True. Yes. A querulous true, but it was true the new. <laughs> Ronnie Corbett in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> false. False. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You finished up in the lead with 44 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Starting with Karen again, and your item this time is all about Muppets. Okay? Yep, Muppets. Now, most of us enjoy a good puppet show, all right? Tory party conference, things like that. <laughs> and as we all enjoy the Muppets, I'm asking you to pick the real ones from the false ones in this list, okay? Answer true or false. Scooter. True. Yes. Bonzo. True. Oh, no, it isn't true. Bonzo, we made up. Fozzy. True. Yes. Robin. True. Yes. Hannibal. False. Good answer. Kermit. True. Whew. Straight in, eh? <laughs> Jumped at that one. It's because her husband's dressed as a green frog. <laughs> <laughs> Gonzo. True. Yep. Miss Porky. False. 
Very good. Toot. False. Good answer. Putting you in the lead with 60 seconds, Joe. Very good. First pick of the cards on the extra chance is Terry and Lindsay. Terry and Lindsay can confer. You're on 31 seconds. General knowledge, television or food and drink? Television. Television. Which soccer player captains one of the teams in a question of sport? Every Whoa, oh, ten seconds on the Karen and Will, food and drink or general knowledge? Well, general knowledge. General knowledge. General knowledge. Which part of the body is affected by myopia? Eyes. Eyes. Look, ten seconds on the clock. <laughs> food and drink. From which country does the cheese Samso? Spelled S A M S O E originate. Switzerland, Greece, France, Hungary, Germany, Belgium, Holland. France, America, Britain, Scotland, Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> I love Uruguay. How have you done that? It's, do you know where it is, Lindsay? She's. No, no, I thought it was Germany. China. Mm. China. No, it's Denmark. Denmark. Uh -oh. There you go. So it wasn't just you, Joe. They just left you with the right one to leave you with. But you're still in the lead with 60 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Knowing the way the game goes, I'm telling you now, it really all hangs on this last segment here. Because I've got a title, The Prince of Wales. Well, I haven't, but I've got it written on here, okay? The Prince of Wales. Some of the following titles are held by that man, all right? Some are not. All you have to do is answer true or false. I'll start with Terry on 41, okay? Earl of Carrick is one of the titles of the Prince of Wales. False. It's true and you're frozen out of the game. Move to Joe. Duke of Dorset. False. Good answer. Lord of the Lobes. False. False. I love that. I, I... <laughs> There goes my knighthood, I thought, when I read it. Okay. <laughs> Earl of Chester. True. Great steward of Scotland. True. You got it right. Lord of Loch Nagar. False. Lord of the Isles. True. Great steward of Ireland. False. Marquis of Spencer. <laughs> False. False. Which is the right answer, but doesn't take you far enough ahead to catch Joe, who's this week's winner, 76 seconds. Come and join me down here. as well, a great time. In fact, they all did very well this week. I'm really pleased. Look, I'm sorry you can't all win, but you're going to take home an every second counts clock, and they're really nice, and I hope it's a nice memento for you. Thanks for it. Really a good game. And to you, what can I say? Well, we're going over to the big table, and we're going to play for some of these prizes. Fitness can be fun when you work out on this super exercise bike and rowing machine, the best way possible to keep in trim. The ultimate in sound systems can be yours with this very latest compact disc player. And to play on it, five discs of your choice. Sample the lifestyle of the rich and famous on this luxury mini cruise. Aboard the famous Queen of the Seas, the fabulous QE2. And tonight's star prize is the ultimate in viewing pleasure. This top-of-the-range 22-inch colour television with teletext, plus three feature films and BBC videos, which you can play on this magnificent video recorder. <laughs> While you're setting yourselves in, let me explain. Four rounds, four correct answers in the first round, five correct answers in the second round, then six and then seven to go all the way to the star prize. Of course, the first prize, I think with 76 seconds, we can safely say you're going to win it. Mm -hmm. And you will keep it, and Joe will get very fit on the exercise bike and the rowing machine and say, no, I'm no going to do the washing off. <laughs> <laughs> we can just wish you well, wish you luck. I can't tell you the answers, but I can <laughs> tell you the categories, all right? So here's your choice of category. Living World or 
food and drink. Living world. Living world. Of the following list of reptiles, tell me which ones are turtles, which are lizards, and which are snakes. The answer I will require is turtle, lizard, or snake. Four lights light up. Correct answers, put them out. And when they're all out, you're on the way. We start with Caroline, okay? Caroline, your time starts now. Sawback. Snake. No. Hawksbill. Snake. No. Cottonmouth. Turtle. No. Gila monster. Lizard. Yes. Python. Snake. Yes. Gecko. Turtle. No. Loggerhead. Turtle. Yes. Water moccasin. Snake. Yep, you did it. Yeah. the and the rowing machine. Builds your muscles up, all right? What are you looking for, Joe? See what's left. See what's left, 61 seconds, okay? 61 seconds of time taking you on the way to your next prize, okay? Because you take away another prize and as you further you go, that particular prize could be worth a lot more money, all right? Compact disc player and five discs this time, all right? That's what you're going for, starting with Caroline, of course when we get to choose one of these categories, all right? Here we go. You can confer only on this bit. Sporting terms, instrumentalists. Sporting terms. Sporting terms, okay. <coughs> from this list of sporting terms, you have to identify them from either soccer or cricket or tennis. Obviously, therefore, the answer I want from you is soccer, cricket, tennis. Now, there are five lights to be put out. <laughs> and you'll be on your way to that compact disc player and the five discs. Here we go. <coughs> Starting with Caroline, time starts now. Nutmeg. Cricket. No. Leg trap. Cricket. Yes. Drop ball. Soccer. Yes. Drop volley. Tennis. Yes. Gully. Cricket. Yes. Chinaman. Soccer. No. Let. Cricket. No. Foot fault. Tennis. Yes. <laughs> You've got now a compact display, five discs to go with your previous prize. That's nice. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? No. <laughs> it's no easy, I'll tell you. And you've got 47 seconds of time left. And we're going to move on now to a prize that, well, I think it's really nice. It's a luxury mini cruise on the QE2, which is a fabulous liner. You'll love it. If you go on that and go no further, you'll enjoy that, I promise you. But we hope you go all the way. First, of course, you've got to choose a category. Pretty relentless, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Colours or screen debuts? Colours. 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 I want you to give me the colour most associated with these words. The colours are black, white or yellow. All right? Now, I will give you a word and there will be one of those colours associated with it. Yeah. Okay? Got to concentrate on this one. The answer I will require is black, white, or yellow. And you can see the six lights come on. Correct answers, put them out. Starting with Caroline. Your time starts now. Elephant. Black. No. Bait. White. Yes. Hammer. Yellow. Yes. Hole. Black. Yes. Country. Black. Yes. Market. White. No. Ensign. Yellow. No. Submarine. Black. No. Rod. White. No. Collar. Yellow. No. Wine. White. Yes. Jaundice. Black. No. Wash. Yellow. No. Bottom. White. No. Adder. Black. You <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, don't do this to me, all right? What? What have we got left? <laughs> what have you got left? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. You've got 17 seconds left. 17 seconds in which to get seven answers right and win tonight's Star Prize, which is a beautiful colour television set with teletext built in, all the trimmings, all the fittings. We've got the VHS and, of course, your choice of films and videos. But you've got to pick a category, okay? Pioneers or cities? Cities. Cities. 
Is that the easiest? <laughs> I can't tell you. I can't help you. I'd love to help you, you know, because I like you. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. You've got 17 seconds. I'll be starting with Joe. You've chosen cities. The names of many countries start with the letters A, B, or C. Okay? That's the countries. They start with A, B, or C. I'll give you the capital city, and you tell me if the country begins with A, B, or C. All right? Give you the city. Right. You sure you understand? Yep. Yes. Okay, good. Here we go. Joe, time with you. Time starts now. Brussels. Belgium. B. Yes. Brasilia. A. No. Peking. C. Yes. Canberra. B. No. Vienna. A. Yes. Havana. B. No. Nicosia. B. No. Bridgetown. A. No. Ottawa. C. Yes, Buenos Aires. Yeah, oh. out of town. I knew you would be shame about that, but never mind. You've got one, two, three, four out. That's 80 pounds extra, and you're going on the QE2, and Thank you're you. going to be exercising to be fit to run around the decks. We wish you well. Thanks for being good players, really good players. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, tune in next week. We'll be here with Every Second Counts. Goodbye. <laughs>